Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here. Let's see. I got from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. I don't think I ever did it on my channel, which is weird because I've had it a bunch of times. But this is the Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. And no, I don't have uh, the Tales of the Edmund Fitzgerald to play right now. So, there you go. Sorry. It is, at times, what it is. Well, that would probably get you my channel video flagged or whatever anyway, so, whatever. And the big bleak thick pink at Jagoon. So, there you go. Let's see. We're going to have a left-hand label out, I think, today. And there it is. Okay, so, 6% alcohol by volume, let's see, still good, by their desktop, that was a porter, it's going to be fine anyway, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then Fitzgerald, Great Lakes Brewing Company, where are they from, were they from Cleveland, where the hell are these guys from? Cleveland. Okay, yeah. Cleveland. 37 IBUs. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Ta -ting. Here it is. Regular old porter. Usually, I don't know if it said it on there. Usually it does. It's like brewed to the Einheitsgebot. That kind of thing. Stuff. Germany purity law. But I don't think it said that. A lot of, a lot of caramel. I mean, like, basically red hues if i do this i see a lot of just cherry red hues coming through here it's like uh every time the light goes through the trees and stuff like that i can see it so it's like a it actually looks really really cool very halloweeny if you don't know, see all the red in the trees and stuff like that when i look through the beer and then there's a rind of caramel hue at the pinnacle of the glass interesting stuff so listen to some goat lord 1991 there you go, cheers. Nice roasty toasty, earthy, copper coin, little kind of a brown bread crust. A mm, little bit of baker's chocolate, nice. Oh, cheers. Easy drinking, dry, very dry beer. Dry, earthy, copper coin, rosy toasty. Nuances like that. Breathing through, you get a nuance of a baker's chocolate. I think for a lot of people, if this beer had a little bit more added sweetness, it'd be a little bit more approachable. But it's just a dry London style porter, basically. And it's really nice. Nice, toasty, roasty. Mmm, nice. Medium side of a medium body. A little oiliness wrap with a lingering around the palate. Again, roast earth char. Smoke, a little copper coin tonality, earthiness. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Got kittens all around, having fun. Got three more, just, just mornies. Uh, black, three black kittens. A lot of chaos. Hi, Twilight. Nice beer. I can't, I'm surprised. Uh oh, Rush Hour. I can hear it already. Um, I'm really surprised I haven't had this on the channel before. Which is really kind of crazy to me. Hmm. Anyway, it's a nice beer. Like I said, I've had it a lot. Amish Rush Hour. just happened so there you go Amish rush hour and this is a nice little beer definitely on par with a, a lot of nice London porters uh, 
haven't had in a long time. I always get the Fuller's London Port. I always enjoyed that one. So that would be, I always prefer it out of a bottle, though. The can was nice to have, a little bit bigger, too, but I always liked the bottle. Um, bigger, too, because obviously a lot of times you were getting the American sized uh, bottles instead of the proper British size. But I wouldn't mind putting these side by side. I haven't had it in a while, but this seems a little bit, from what I remember, a little bit. Uh, bolder, just a bit bolder than I remember for Liz being, but boy, I know a long time ago Joe did talk about that uh, from the Beer Patrol, doing like a, a show off, like a, a verse, you know, versus kind of showdown or whatever you want to call it, uh, like Founders Porter, uh, Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. Uh, London Porter, London Pride, you know what I mean, from Fuller's, and uh, I'm just trying to think of maybe like a, the Robust Porter or something from, uh, oh, who are they, Robust Porter from Real Rush Hour, ugh, humans, real humans with faces, uh, I'm trying to think who does that, like uh, Smutty Nose maybe, um, but uh, that would be probably pretty interesting. Just traditional porters. No adjuncts, no bullshit. Just porter, 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 showdown. Uh, no imperial porters, obviously. Just a porter, porter, porter. You know what I mean? So robust might actually not make the cut. But anyway. Not like you can. Anyway. Anyway. This beer is pretty good. 8 out of 10. No problem. Yeah. Definitely above solid. Um, approachable overall. There is a little hint of a sweetness, but it's very subtle. Um, easy. They're playing with each other. One little big cat, one little little cat. But, yeah, nothing too crazy. I like it. I'm just surprised I never had it on my channel before. I looked up and I'm like never came up. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, about damn time. This is from Paul Fabritas. Cheers. Oh, Jeff Finger. Here it comes. Woo! Boom.